Growing up in Santa Cruz, even before I started rock climbing, I always played on trees. I've always had a really deep connection with the redwood forest. When I got into climbing, it's taken me all over the world, climbing on the hardest routes. I always come back to between my travel. I come back to the redwood forest and walk around. And I started looking up and seeing more than just trees, but actually seeing lines that would be amazing to climb on. Get back to the essence of climbing and being a kid again, playing in the trees. Climbing trees is way different than climbing rocks. These are living beings. It was great to come out here with Anthony and Wendy, these tree biologists that helped us do everything in the most careful way so that we don't damage this ecosystem at all. We climb up ropes mostly and use arborist techniques to climb up into the canopy. It would be amazing if Chris can actually climb this trunk. Almost 25 years of my life has been spent watching people on stone. There was nothing in my imagination what it would be like to see the same sort of movement on a tree. It's legit climbing. It's no joke. It's just as cool or even cooler than I imagined really beautiful and it's proper hard climbing. The old growth redwood canopy is a very sensitive place. We want to make sure that people don't climb in the redwood forest without permission. Yeah. The top of the tree has low water but it has abundant light so it doesn't need to spread out but it closes. It's an interesting time to study these trees. California is going through a huge drought. So it's 77.05. meters. So I was guessing 80, that's pretty close. You know, we're taking leaf samples from the top, from the middle, and from the bottom. Let's do the treetop foliage. This is from the bottom of the tree. And this is from the top yeah, of the tree. Yeah, Isn't that just amazing? Yeah. We're trying to understand how the redwoods are responding to the current drought. And the more data that we have, the better. So this is another piece of information. You'll be able to see the, the water coming out. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. So 1.2. The data show that this tree was not um, particularly stressed right now. But you know, it's early in the season. This is generally a, the least stressful time of year for them. I'm so connected to these forests, but I don't really know that much about the trees. It's really cool to learn from them about it. It was a huge dream come true to come here and climb these trees. And at the same time, it was super humbling. These trees are way more difficult than I expected. You know, more than doing some sort of big achievement, this was kind of an opportunity to connect my climbing career back to where I'm from and put a little twist on climbing, do something different. Anthony, thanks for taking us up here, man. What a treat, huh?